Solid waste districts have several options available to fund the implementation of their solid waste plans. Two primary forms of district fees, disposal fee, Ohio Revised Code 3734.57b, generation fee, Ohio Revised Code 3734.573. Other funding mechanisms, rates and charges, facility tipping fees, joint use agreements, contracted collection of fees, county contributions through general fund. In addition to the main funding mechanisms available to the districts, revenues can also come from other forms of miscellaneous revenue, grants, interest income, donations, user fees for programs, reimbursements, recycling revenue, fee penalty. Disposal fees, sometimes called tier fees, are levied on solid waste delivered to in-district facilities from any point of generation from within the district, outside the district, and outside the state of Ohio. Fees are not levied at registered or licensed compost facilities or legitimate recycling facilities. Disposal fees are set by the policy committee. The minimum disposal fee is set by statute and includes current disposal fee tiers as follows. Minimum fee of $1 per ton for in-district solid waste. Minimum fee of $2 per ton for out-of-district solid waste. Minimum fee of $1 per ton for out-of-state solid waste. The in-district fee cannot exceed $2 per ton. Out-of-district fee cannot exceed $4 per ton. Out-of-state fee shall not be more than the in-district fee. A district can also elect to establish fees on solid waste generation. Generation fees are levied only on solid waste that is generated from within the district. Collected at First Ohio Facility Waste is received, transfer facility, landfill, mix waste processing facility, incinerator. Fees are not levied at registered or licensed compost facilities or legitimate recycling facilities. Generation fees are set by the policy committee with no minimum or maximum amount per ton. District generation fees range from 50 cents to $10 per ton. Only the policy committee of a district or board of trustees of an authority can create, abolish, or revise disposal and generation fees. Disposal and generation fees can be created, abolished, or revised either as part of a solid waste management plan or separately. If done outside of a solid waste plan, disposal and generation fees can be created, abolished, or revised per the following process. Adoption of a resolution by the Policy Committee to create, abolish, or amend fees. Conduct a 30-day public comment period. Conduct a public hearing. Revise fees based on public comment. Approval, disapproval by boards of county commissioners and legislative authorities within the district over a 60-day period. Disposal and generation fees can also be created, abolished, or revised during a plan ratification process, but must include the following added tasks. The policy committee must include the proposed fee schedule in all public notices issued for the plan. Approval or disapproval by boards of county commissioners and legislative authorities within the district over a 90-day period. Fees must generally be approved by each county the largest municipality, and political jurisdictions representing 60% of the population. For generation fees above $5, ratification from political subdivisions representing 75% of the district will be required. There is a 14-day notification required to all solid waste facilities when fees are created, changed, or abolished, either as a separate process or through a solid waste plan update. Collection of new or amended fees is to begin on the first day of the second month following the month in which notification is sent to the owners or operators of the facilities. A district can also create a property tax called rates and charges to fund programs that provide service to the improved parcels receiving services. Services offered by districts that can be funded through this mechanism 
include curbside programs, but also can include funding solid waste facilities owned and operated by the district. The process to create rates and charges is, the board adopts a resolution to create the rates and charges, public notice for three consecutive weeks prior to hearing, conduct three public hearings. Districts that operate their own solid waste facilities can fund their district with a portion of the tipping fees charged for the use of the facility. Miami and Medina County, as an example, use this form of district funding. Some districts will use the joint use agreement as a mechanism to reduce the out-of-district disposal fee for their facilities to encourage the sharing of facilities between two districts. Cuyahoga and Mahoning County, as an example, have a joint use agreement to encourage the use of Mahoning County's landfill by Cuyahoga County generators. Some districts utilize their designation powers to establish agreements with disposal facilities. This process allows the district to collect fees for solid waste delivered to the designated facility by contract. The designation process includes a contract is agreed upon by the district and a facility, a fee is paid to the district for each ton of solid waste accepted by the facility. Districts can also operate with an assortment of the funding mechanisms already discussed and also receive contributions from the general fund of the county. Finally, districts can create a planning fee of not more than 50 cents per ton to offset the cost of preparing or updating a plan. Ohio law allows districts to use their revenues from disposal and generation fees on 10 authorized uses. The authorized uses are preparing the solid waste plan, monitoring implementation, and conducting periodic review and amendment of the plan, implementing the approved plan, financial assistance to boards of health within the district for enforcement of solid waste rules, orders, permits, terms and conditions of permits, and licenses for solid waste facilities located within the district. Financial assistance to each county in the district for maintaining roads and other public facilities and emergency services due to the location of solid waste facilities. Paying boards of health for costs incurred for collecting and analyzing samples from public or private water wells adjacent to the solid waste facility. Out of state waste inspection program. Funding to boards of health or other law enforcement agencies for anti-littering laws and ordinances. Fundings to boards of health to pay for training or certification programs as required by the rules adopted under 3734.02. Funding to municipal corporations of townships maintaining roads and other public facilities or emergency services due to the location of a composting, energy or resource recovery, incineration or recycling facility that is owned by the district or the facility is furnishing services to the district pursuant to a contract or agreement. Paying of expenses agreed to or awarded to communities that are affected by the siting of a publicly owned landfill or modification to the facility.